Hey guys, welcome to Kothali YouTube channel. So this is our seventh video on the channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about the how to pass headers in a post curl using Spring Boot guys. This is the third video in the Spring Boot concept. Previously, we have seen high level how to create rest controllers, how to pass input and output data with the help of the uh, post curl. Let me show you that output here. I have a post curl here and I'm passing this data. When I'm hitting the response, I'm simply returning that response here okay so if you see from the back end side i'm printing that response here okay so in this video i'm going to show you how we can pass the headers here something like this okay uh, with the help of the post card and i'm going to create a very very minimal minimal uh, use case here for the headers guys so if you have not subscribed to my channel i really suggest you guys to subscribe and watch all the videos guys so let's get into the application side okay so let's say like this is our post mapping right so let me create another post mapping here post mapping where i have the value as let's say like post with header data we can create something like this and it is going to consume consume what it is going to consume json type media type dot application underscore json value at the same time it is going to produce this json type okay if you are not clear on this concept guys i really suggest you guys to watch my other video where i have shown this very clearly media type dot application let me copy paste this it's already available here okay This is my rest controller guys. So post mapping, let me, uh, okay, it's already duplicated seems. So let's see like post with header data. Let's say like post with H data. Okay. And uh, let me create a method like student uh, post with H data. Okay. So it is, like this as of now let's keep it like this okay this is my controller which is of interface type and i am implementing this in a service class okay this is clear and what is this student type i am talking about is actually input being student okay so i am sending this as a request body so let's send this as a request body so how I build that all those things are actually presented in my previous video guys. So request body here uh, student s this is cool. Now headers for headers what you need to do is request headers we have okay. You put something like this guys and um, name is equal to let's say like x underscore st s okay and uh, default value you could keep that thing we'll see later okay then string let me keep it as sh and request header this is a name and this is a parameter okay uh, then if you go to the service implementation of this this is a service implementation of this controller and trying to implement the other method okay so this is my method right and i am returning student here return student that is s now now let uh okay just a minute Now we are here. 
here what I'm going to do is like let's say like if sh is not null then only I am creating a uh, I am returning the student type here sh means if the header right so if header is not null okay I could say like not empty then only I am creating this resource student else I am doing what I am doing I am doing a empty student type that means return return new student okay so high level this is my controller in the controller class i am giving request header with a name i am passing this as a parameter and that parameter being handled over here right i started executing right so i am going to my soap ui for execution here this is a post method i am executing at 8080 i need to identify the resource here so this is my resource post with h data so let me keep that now uh, for parameter let me delete this is already available so let me create place here now go here request header what is the name you have given x iphone sts you need to use the same name guys and let me give something like a code here and style as header okay now resource level method level that's fine now let me execute this what is happening here let me keep something like this and show you what is happening here Even i am not sure <laughs> i need to see so i have gone here and let me put some debuggers here it went inside and here okay okay understood understood okay inside the headers method i don't need this let me remove this what i understood is if if my header is empty only i am returning to the s value so let me keep this as empty now execute it is has a bad request is empty empty means what empty means null okay let me keep something like non-empty and execute this yeah let me keep something like some value here now you could see whatever the value that is presented I am getting that means the code is getting inside this method and I am executing this return s if it is non empty if it is empty means what will happen if it is empty if I execute this I am getting this as a bad request because it needs to have some value it seems okay if I give null, null will also come as a value, I guess. Yeah. If I give something like this, empty value, I think this should work, guys. No, this is also coming as a value. Okay. So header should not be empty here. Okay. Let's see that. Request header name is equal to x hyphen hts. Here, required is equal to true or false let me keep it as false and execute uh, even though if i keep it as false here what happens is since i'm handling here inside the method this is going to be a mandatory column for me that's fine so the value would be like required is equal to false and there is something called default guys default uh, value default value is what is the value you want to keep it as default something like sde okay this is a default value i am trying to keep it for this header so if you are not setting the value 
in the code level let's say like here if i am not setting any value for sh uh, how to set like this set uh, else uh, no no not that this if i uh, let me keep like get okay here i am setting if you are not setting this kind of value also it's fine because the default value is already available so these are the fields guys for the request header name you have required or not default value okay this is a small use case i have implemented okay uh, you could use something like instead of this you could give something like sh dot equals of s dot get s name that means i am printing the student value when my header value is equal to the name of the student here is a code tally one if i keep okay let me execute this save and it will start executing yeah so if you i give this name uh, code tally I execute this this will come if I give something else let me give something like this then the null object should get passed guys uh, triple one what is happening s dot equals okay I'm setting the value here yeah yeah every time I'm setting the value here so obviously this is going to come right now uh, if I execute this now you could see it is not equal so i am returning an empty object if i put the same value it is going to return me the response this is a small use case i just want to present you guys so i hope you guys have understood the headers concept the request headers in the post mapping i hope this video is useful for you guys thank you so much for watching thank you it's me karthik